Hello Midgardians, hope you all doing well and always healthy. Rogue or Stalker is very famous class to play especially for farming zeni. Their abilities to copy other skills and really cost effective compared to other class, Rogue is one of class that everybody is having. So in this video, I will play Rogue and then Stalker for this walkthrough. Every equipment and items I will use is accessible from any server. After completing Hansen personality test, we will get free weapon and Freycon for refining. For Thief, we can stay with main Gauche until we able to get our first elemental Damascus. Starting from Hidden Dungeon, level up our base and job for gaining first class skill. In Hidden Dungeon, you could stay up until level 30 since there are many types of monsters live here. Beware of Hunter Fly since they can flew all over the map. Another place of choices, you can go to pay on field 02. Wolf, Snake, Popering, and Spore. They all having massive experience per kill. Also collecting strawberries for SP restoration. Mantle drop from Wolf is very useful for early games, compounded with Pupa card for extra 700 HP Wolf card also very good for early games as increase attack by plus 15. Target from level 20 until level 50. Toy Factory Level 2 is another famous and hot spot for Thief Class farming. Piece of Cake, Pearl, Old Blue Box, and Zargon dropped by Mist Case. Getting your first million zenny here as early possible, because need zenny later to fund your rogue weapons and armor. You can choose to stay in Toy Factory until max job 50, or can go to Iothadia Field 02 for job experience boost from Leaf Cat. By default this map, need to do Iothea Dungeon Entrance Quest to get access. Leaf Cat, Woot and Fighter both are giving high experience, so can grind here until max job level 50 as Thief. Finally becoming Rogue. Same drill as Thief before, straight back to Iothea killing Leaf Cat or can go back to Toy Factory hunting Mist Case in case your Zenny still are not on targeted amount. For Rogue Weapon, kindly find one of famous blacksmith in the game, which can help you craft Elemental Damascus. Before any of Damascus, gain job level, base level as much possible so you will able to get level 10 plagiarism. With level 10 plagiarism, you will able to copy highest skill level from skill that hit you either physical or magical skills. Most skill that can be copied are that available with players and monsters. Matter Drop, very good early games accessory, Matter Leash. Plus 1 agility, will help a bit on flea and attack speed increase. Also Matter Card for another extra 10% HP and plus 1 agility. This is my blacksmith, crafting very very strong elemental weapon is very useful when Black playing rogue. Getting it refined at least plus 7 is the hardest task, but it's very possible. Getting weapon from ranked blacksmith also give you extra plus 10 on mastery attack each star crumbs used for forging the weapon. Muscovia dungeon another good place to level in. Most of them are earth element monster. Fire Damascus is doing very well. Recommended from level 60 to level 70. Less and Wood Goblin give massive amount of experience, while Mantis drop very valuable item, Mantis card. If you're getting bored at Muscovia, another place you can look at is Einbrock Field 06. Goat and Harpy are the target, Goat abilities is assist. With max plagiarism, I'm using triple attack for single target Goat. My flea still low to use Bowling Bash as my AoE skill. About flea, Pantai, and Undershirt combo is very reputable in pre renewal. Getting Pantai from Zaram as many possible and will try to slotting it. Pasana drops Undershirt. Zaram card and Pasana card can be valuable asset to sell if you lack of Zenny when try to attempt slotting those Pantai and Undershirt. 
each slotting attempt, costing 1 million zenny and 1 alunium. The target is 20 million zenny to be burned if you unlucky, you will get nothing from this attempt. So this is not recommended to do if you finding hard to farm zenny on your server, just stay with unslotted version for now. Don't forget to upgrade your sandals to boots. Boots giving extra defend compared to sandals. Slot it with Matter card or Varric card. With slotted Pantai, getting Porcelio card for extra, plus 30 attack. If you having access to Biro card, use that card. It's better compared to Porcelio when you become Stalker. Now pushing level to 90. Anolian is water fish type monster. Weak against wind element and they spawn a lot in Komodo field. Also you can farm your Ori Deccan and slotted brooch. Reaching level 90, this is the hardest part to get level to 99. Sleeper not giving any much experience, but the loots that Sleeper had will help you in future. Rough Ori Deccan, Great Nature, and two weapon drops from Sleeper, Damascus, and Hypnotist staff can sell for high amount Zenny to NPC with overcharge of course. Back to Muscovia Dungeon, if not to Crowded, Mofka is best all around to farm Zenny. Witherless Rose, Crystal Mirror, and Blue Herb can be sold to NPC and players. Also, Mofka is giving pretty high experience compared to Sleeper. Mofka alone, I made 4.5 million zenny. Which is still not enough to fund my stalker equipment soon. But worried not, since less player going to Mofka is easy to farm there. Before I rush into 99, still need few more equipment to be farmed. 120 trunk needed to craft Sackett, which give plus 1 agility on headgear. Buckler slot drop from Cobalt. It took me too much time to get the buckler. Then I went to Hodromlin, which I struggling to kill faster. But the Hodromlin card 15% reduction to all size monster is very good choice. The card I used for my undershirt and noxious card. 10% damage reduction from neutral attack and 10% from range attack. When first I went to Hodromlin, I noticed that I need another neutral element weapon for this purpose. So, after I getting the card, I craft another Damascus with very 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 strong Damascus. This will give me extra, plus 30 mastery attack and able to his demon type monster higher compared to the element Damascus. Medusa, also very good for grinding level 95 to 98 and getting pearl for extra zenny. But before I forgot, my broach need card. Cooker card plus 2 agility which is helping my attack speed and flee. Back into Rachel Sanctuary, this place needed quest to access if the server don't have access on Warpra. Then level 99, rebirth and redo back. From high novice to high thief same as before. I really recommended player to get max job level 50 for extra skill point on thief. So after change into stalker, level up your job a bit then start push on plagiarism and preserve. Finally any skill you copied won't get replaced if preserve is active. Stalker also got new skill called chase walk. This skill can be buffed by Soul Link. From Merman and Strout, to Goat and Sleeper is best for leveling between 60 to level 80. Bowling Bash one of useful skill for Stalker to use on early leveling. If you notice, using Bowling Bash does knock back enemies up to 4 cells from you. This is due to you inside the gutter lines. Some server already block usage of gutter lines, but some still not. We'll show you guide soon how to enable the gutter lines so you won't hit bowling bash inside the lines anymore. Changing the weapon from elemental Damascus to scalpel. 
Van Burke drops three slotted level 4 weapon, named Scalpel. This weapon is stronger, level 4 which is refined to increase a lot on attack value. Three slots sold it all. Farm as many possible and refine it highest possible. For me, plus 7 is already enough to use into leveling. Finally, on your way to hit level 99. For starter, I usually go tries my luck inside Abyss Dungeon. Sky Petite card, Earth Petite card and Minerist card is very useful inside this dungeon. Will increase damage a lot and since you're Fleet 238, you able to tank up to 4 dragons in the dungeon. Soul Linker Spirit on Stalker, allowed Skill Chase Walk to walk faster and STR bonus from it will increase duration up to 5 minutes. Also, you cannot be dispelled and any potion crafted from Rank or Alchemist will have their effect increase if using by Linked Stalker. Cursed Abbey Level 2, for those are drive into challenges. Suitable to grind your level to 99. But beware of Fallen Bishop, the MVP might not be friendly at all. If you have leechers in the server, can go for level 3 or Morak field 21. Soloing Stalker is pretty challenging, especially on skill. Even though Stalker known for their copied skill, but without proper equipment and stats, any skill can goes wrong. As always, not MZAR video, if not hunting MVP. By the way this MVP hunting, not on schedule, it just happened to be there while I grinding my level to 99. Stalker can kill MVP even some MVP are stronger, but more on that later. So any suggestion put on comment section. Any build suggestion for Stalker, which I miss or supposed to do would be lovely to share with me. Okay guys cheers and stay safe. Peace.